Here we have what I would call kind of like a classic new style systems of equations question, right? We're given these, these two, we're asked to find the intersection, the solution, so we should just graph this. It's better to do that than do the algebra. Now if I do, if I graph these equations, I, I can see that I've got a problem here. I only see one of them, right? There's the red. But that's because look at that number, 72. I don't know exactly how that fits into the whole thing, but I do know that that means this is probably gonna be big. So I'm gonna have to zoom out until I find what I'm looking for. And there it is, there's the blue. And you can kind of see that they're, they're veering towards each other near the top. So I'm gonna scroll down and see if I can get there. And there it is. So now look, they're really close, but because these are lines, I should be able to just like tap it. And there, it's gonna tell me the intersection point. So it says negative um, 1.333 comma 80. And so since they're looking for the y, that just gives me the nicer number 80 here. I'm gonna to try to, can I smoosh this a little for you? Or doesn't let me, I'm trying to expand it in one direction. It's not really letting me do that here for you guys. Oh, there we go, there we go, that's what I was looking for. So now you can see it more clearly. So yeah, there's our, there's our, our y coordinate is 80. So that would be the answer to this question. But if we were asked for the x, it gets a little bit more complicated. Um, we can bubble one point, we can bubble it exactly like this. We can enter this as the student produced response but I get very nervous with this. So if I were asked for the X, I would have bubbled it as negative four thirds because that is the fractional value. Anytime one uh, thirds or sixths or anything with a weird repeating decimal is involved, I really hate the student produced response. I think it's just very scary and I don't wanna lose points for something like just misentering the number. You know, they have special rules. I'll always tell you the rules, but I do think they're hard to follow. But yeah, I would absolutely do this from the start with the calculator. There's really no need to solve this algebraically. I just I think it opens you up to way more mistakes, so I'm not even going to show you how to do it.